The International Institute for Strategic Studies IISS is a British research institute or think tank in the area of international affairs. Since 1997 its headquarters have been Arundel House, in London, England. The 2017 Global Go to Think Tank Index ranked IISS as the 10th best think tank worldwide and the second best defence and national security think tank globally. Overview The current Director General and Chief Executive is John Chipman. The Chairman of the Council is François Heisborg, a former Director. Sir Michael Howard, the British military historian, is President Emeritus. Sir Michael founded the Institute together with the British Labour MP. Dennis Healy, Defense Secretary 1964 to 1970 and Chancellor of the Exchequer 1974 to 1979 and journalist Alistair Buchan. The IISS describes itself as a primary source of accurate objective information on international strategic issues for politicians and diplomats, foreign affairs analysts, international business, economists, the military, defense commentators, journalists, academics and the informed public. The Institute owes no allegiance to any government, or to any political or other organization. The Institute claims 2,500 individual members and 450 corporate and institutional members from more than 100 countries. Based in London, the IISS is both a private company limited by guarantee in UK law and a registered charity. It has branches in Washington, D.C. and in Singapore Asia, with charitable status in each jurisdiction, and in Manama, Bahrain IISS Middle East. Topic Research The Institute's work is built on the activities of its 11 research programs. Dozens of experts and consulting experts contribute to the Institute's studies. Research includes work under seven thematic programs, armed conflict, future conflict and cybersecurity, defense and military analysis, economic and energy security, geo-economics and strategy, non-proliferation and nuclear policy, security and development. There are also four active regional security programs, Asia-Pacific, Middle East and the Gulf, South Asia, U.S. foreign policy and transatlantic affairs. Notable former employees include H. R. McMaster, United States National Security Advisor, and diplomat Rose Gottmoller, currently Deputy Secretary General of NATO. Orwell Prize-winning academic and journalist Anatole Levin also worked at the Institute, as did James Steinberg, former U.S. Deputy Secretary of State. The Institute has worked with governments, defense ministries and global organizations including NATO and the European Union. Topic. Publications The IISS publishes The Military Balance, an annual assessment of nation's military capabilities. Since 2017 it has also published Military Balance Plus, an online database on the same subject. Other publications include the Armed Conflict Database, Survival, a journal on global politics and strategy, Strategic Survey, the Annual Review of World Affairs, and Strategic Comments, online analysis of topical issues in international affairs. Since its inception the Institute has published the Adelphi series of books, covering topical strategic issues. Recent editions have covered subjects such as Chinese cyber power, conflict in Ukraine, negotiating with armed groups and the Iraq War. In 2011 the Institute published the FOC files, documents captured from the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia that shed light on the movement's inner workings. It regularly publishes one-off briefing papers and dossiers. Events <inaudible> 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 Since 2002 the Institute has hosted the annual IISS Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore, a conference on Asia-Pacific security issues featuring heads of state, defense ministers and security experts from the region and around the world. In 2017 Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull said, the Shangri-La Dialogue has grown to become one of the world's great strategic gatherings. The 2017 Global Go to Think Tank Index ranked the Shangri-La Dialogue as the best think tank conference worldwide. The annual IISS Manama Dialogue, held in the Kingdom of Bahrain, sees global heads of state and high-ranking ministers discuss defense and political issues related to the Middle East. 
In 2015 Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi described the dialogue as a major regional event focusing on regional security issues and everything that impacts upon them. In recent years the institute has hosted smaller conferences including the Bahrain Bay Forum and NATO Transformation Seminar, and regularly holds debates and panel discussions at its offices around the world. History Founded in 1958, with its original focused nuclear deterrence and arms control, the IISS has strong establishment links, with former U.S. and British government officials among its members. The Institute claims that it "...was hugely influential in setting the intellectual structures for managing the Cold War." Raymond L. Garthoff wrote in 2004, in 1959 the ISS issued a pamphlet on the ''military balance'' between the Soviet Union and NATO. It was unfortunately replete with errors, having been put together from published sources of widely varying quality. I called this to the attention of Alistair Buchan, the director of the Institute, who was quite disturbed. A new version was issued in November 1960, much more correct and accurate, though still not up to the latest intelligence. Again, I called this to Buchan's attention, and he undertook to check out with British authorities what became annual issuances. The second issue appeared under the title, The Communist Bloc and the Free World, The Military Balance 1960. <laughs> Controversy In 2016, The Guardian reported that IISS has been accused of jeopardizing its independence after leaked documents showed it has secretly received £25 million from the Bahraini royal family", noting that leaked documents reveal that IISS and Bahrain's rulers specifically agreed to keep the latter's funding for the Manama Dialogues secret. The IISS did not dispute the authenticity of the leaked documents or deny receiving funding from Bahrain, but issued a response stating that a LLIISS contractual agreements, including those with host governments, contain a clause asserting the Institute's absolute intellectual and operational independence as an international organization that does not participate in any manner of advocacy. The Middle East I subsequently reported that IISS may have received nearly half of its total income from Bahraini sources in some years. Directors Alistair Buchan (1958–1969), François Duchesne (1969–1974), Christophe Bertram (1974–1982), Robert J. O'Neill (1982–1987), François Heisborg (1987–1992). Bo Holt, 1992–1993; John Chipman, 1993. Topic: Council. Council members as of 2017 are: Professor François Heisborg, Chairman of the IISS and of the Geneva Center for Security Policy. Joanne de Asis, founder and chairperson, Asia Pacific Capital Partners Fleur de Villiers, journalist Field Marshal Charles Guthrie, Baron Guthrie of Craigiebank Bill Emmett, journalist Michael Fullalove, academic Marilyn A. Hewson, chairman, president and CEO of Lockheed Martin Badr Jafar, president of Crescent Petroleum Bilahari Kasakan, Ambassador at Large, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Singapore. Ellen Lapson, President and CEO, Henry L. Stimson Center. Chung Min Lee, Professor of International Relations, Yonsei University. Eric the Tenth Lee, Founder and Managing Director, Chengwei Capital. Jean Claude Mallet, Councillor of State, France. Moilet C. Mbeki. Michael D. 
Rich Charles Powell, Baron Powell of Bayswater George Robertson, Baron Robertson of Port Ellen Ambassador Andres Rosenthal Gutman, President, Rosenthal and Associados Thomas Seaman, Fellow and Bursar, All Souls College, Oxford Grace Rexton Skagen, Chair of Norwegian Institute of Directors and Deputy Chair of Statoil Major General Amos Yadlin Igor Jurgens, Chairman of the Management Board of the Institute of Contemporary Development. See also List of UK think tanks Adelphi Papers, the monograph series of the Institute